Hey guys, I'm Montana, the resident artist at Croft. Today I am going to show you how to paint your own planter using the jungle pot design from Croft's paint and pot kit. First, I will take you through your workspace setup and what to expect to find in the paint and pot kit. And then we'll go through the seven easy steps to paint your own jungle pot. So let's get started. In the paint pot kit, you'll find instructions with multiple paint designs, the complete cropped acrylic paint set, a cardboard insert that you can actually use as your paint palette, and two ready to paint planters made out of recycled materials. To have your space ready for painting, set a protective material on your surface like a mess mat, grab your planter, the paint set, which includes your two paint brushes, your cardboard paint palette, and grab a cup of water and a cloth to keep your paint brushes clean and dry. You can also keep the paint instructions handy if you'd like. For step number one, we'll first cover our planter with a thin white base layer. We'll use the bigger paintbrush for this, moving the paintbrush in one direction only, and making sure we're covering the base of the pot all the way to the rim. Notice how I place my hand on the inside of the planter so I never have to touch the wet paint on the outside. Once your thin white base layer is on, we'll add our terracotta paint layer. So add orange, yellow, and brown to your white paint and mix by sweeping the paint in a circular motion with your brush. Feel free to adjust the color and keep mixing as much as you'd like until you get the right shade of terracotta for you. Then add a layer of terracotta to your pot. So again, move your paintbrush in only one direction, like vertically up and down, and make sure you're covering the base of your pot to the rim. Now that my terracotta base layer is all painted on, I'll set my pot upside down on my mess mat to dry. Feel free to pause the video here while you finish your base layer, and then when we're ready, we'll move on to step two. Now, using your smaller paintbrush, start by adding some white paint to your terracotta, sweeping the paint in a circular motion to mitts. Once you have a nice golden shade, we'll paint some leafy shapes. Hold your paintbrush like a pencil, and using only the very bottom of your brush, paint the stem. You need only enough paint on your brush to coat the very bottom of the bristles, and you'll want to drag the brush along your pot without applying much pressure. To paint your leaves, continue holding your brush like a pencil, outline your leaves, and then fill in. Notice how I keep my hand steady as I guide my paintbrush in the shape I'd like my leaves to be. Let's paint three or four of these sets of leaves, rotating our planter in between sets so that the leaves are evenly spaced apart. Alternate between leaves that come from the top and from the bottom of your planter. Once your first set of leaves is all done, rinse and clean your brush, and then we'll move on to step three. For this next set of leaves, we'll make dark green paint by mixing our aqua green with just a touch of blue and a touch of yellow. Again, holding your paintbrush like a pencil, you can start by painting the bottom curve of your leaf, then build the leaf from there and fill in. As you fill your leaves in, keep the layer of paint thin so it can dry evenly and quickly. Then you can go back around adding another layer of paint to your leaves and cleaning up any shapes if needed. When you place your green leaves, you can use your golden leaves as a guide, keeping the green leaves evenly spaced apart and alternating between different orientations. And if you're liking this video so far, be sure to like and subscribe.
When you're ready to move on to step four, clean and dry your paintbrush. Then mix two parts white paint with one part red paint to make bright pink. Using your bright pink, fill some of the space between the golden and green leaves with some simple pink leaf shapes. Feel free to pause here until your pink leaves are all done and then we'll move on to step five. Start step five by adding more white paint to your pink mitts. You can also add a little orange or some of your golden mitts. Then focusing on filling in any empty space, add another set of leaves starting with the stem and building the leaves from there. Your leaves can be any shape you'd like. I'm making mine pretty round, so I'm moving my paintbrush in a circular motion as I paint the leaves. Focus on painting just one layer at a time, then once all your leaves are painted on, you can go back around and add another layer of paint to them if you'd like. You can pause here until your pastel pink leaves are all done, and then we'll move on to our final two steps. For step six, add detail to your jungle pot using your small paintbrush or paint pens. I'm using paint pens to add details to most of my leaves and to add some fun little shapes around the pot. You can keep it as simple or as elaborate as you'd like. When your pot is completely dry to the touch, complete the final step by coating your pot with a layer of the sealant from your paint kit. You can use your bigger brush for this, moving the brush in one direction, covering the base of the pot to the rim. And that is how you paint your own jungle pot planter. Thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe and let us know what you wanna learn next.